Now, what we're going to demonstrate, and Logan, you can show your balloon. We have a balloon here to represent the Earth and its rotation, and Logan's going to show how this um, rotation is affected by the Coriolis effect. All right, so on our balloon here, this is going to represent our Earth. It's just easier to see with it being it's a yellow balloon instead of using a globe. And I want you to see that there are a couple things I've marked on here, and that that would be an N for the North Pole. We've got our equator here, and we have an S for the South Pole. Now, what Logan's going to do is he's going to draw us a straight line from the North Pole directly to the equator. Can you do that, Logan? Yeah. And remember, we're just drawing a straight line, okay? Okay. Here, you take the marker. I'll hold the balloon, okay? So what he's going to show here is if there was no rotation, start up here, start at the end. If there was no rotation on the Earth. Good job. And what he's shown you here is that it's just going to be a straight line from the north to the equator. Now, Logan, I'm going to have you draw again a straight line to the equator and this time i'm going to spin the earth in its to show its rotation from the end yep from the end good job now what i want you to see is that he tried to draw a straight line from that north pole down to the equator and what i want you to see is that his straight line is now deflected um, towards the west and he, if we could continue this, this would have made a clockwise pattern here of how the water is moving on Earth. Now, Logan, I want you to draw, try to draw a straight line from the South Pole to the equator. I'm going to rotate the Earth again for you. All right. And here's Logan's attempt at making a straight line um, from the south to the equator. And what we can see here is that it's also deflected to the west. But what I want you to notice here is that it's not in a clockwise pattern. From the south, these are going to move counterclockwise. Because if we followed his line, it would have went in this direction. From the north, it's going to go in this direction. This is the Coriolis effect. And this is what's going to drive some of our motions of our water on Earth. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for today. Um, what I want us to pay attention to tomorrow is that these um, concepts of the Coriolis effect and density and how water density affects our climate and how it affects the currents moving is going to be on our lessons tomorrow. So come back to these videos if you need a little bit of a refresher um, to help you out. All right, we will see you next time, and hopefully next time it's warmer. All right, Logan, say goodbye. All right, we'll see everybody later. Bye.